Pinpoint Weather Super 7-Day Forecast. And speaking of non-expensive things to do for Father's Day, I'm sure plenty of people were out on the water, at the park, at the baseball game, because it was absolutely beautiful this weekend. Absolutely. It was a great beach day yesterday and today, but tomorrow the clouds are making a return, especially along our coastline. Let's take a look outside right now. You can see out of our San Diego sky cam that downtown San Diego is lit up right there. It's 62 degrees outside and it feels just like that. Humidity at about 86% winds very calm along our shoreline right now. Visibility for about 10 miles. Now let's take a look at our overnight lows along our coastline. We will expect to see things in the 60s with patchy fog that will continue through the morning hours and on your morning commute. You may even see some drizzle on your car in our inland communities. Lows at about 58 with patchy fog as well in our mountains. We will see a low of 52 in our deserts, a low of 71 and we are also tracking a wind advisory in our mountain and desert community. So if you are heading in from the Imperial Valley, make sure that you take it slow because those gusts can get up to 60 miles per hour. So let's take it slow on our roadways. Make sure that everything is secured to our vehicles. This will be in effect until Monday evening at about 11 o'clock at night. Let's take a look at our highs around the county for tomorrow as we celebrate Juneteenth and we start our work week. It'll be 72 in Oceanside as we make it down the coastline, 69 in our South Bay in Chula Vista, 75 in El Cajon, 68 in Julian, 96 in our deserts, nice and warm over there as we take a look ahead over the next couple of days. Cooling will continue through tomorrow. We will have low clouds and fog overnight into the morning hours, but we will see some warmer weather. We'll start to see things warm up just a little bit midweek, but we'll really see it over the weekend early into next week. Let's take a look at our seven day forecast for the week. We will see a high of 68 tomorrow as we celebrate Juneteenth. And and as we head out the door to work in the morning, it'll be about 63 degrees by lunchtime, 69 and by dinner time, it'll be about 66 degrees, especially when we head out to go watch the sunset. Let's take a look at our inland communities over the next seven days. We can see things trending in the 70s, in the 50s for those overnight lows in our mountain communities. Tomorrow it'll be a high of 68, but by the weekend we will see a nice sunny 74 on Saturday and in our desert communities. We will see it at 96 tomorrow, but we will welcome back the triple digits on Saturday and Sunday at about 101 degrees on Saturday. Now here at ABC 10 News, we want to say thank you to all the amazing dads and father figures in San Diego. We also want to share with you some of our heroes. This is our associate producer, Alex Lai and her dad Alvin. He lives in the Bay Area and is a marathon runner. He even ran a race trail today in the Palisades. And this is producer Stephanie and her dad Nacho. Stephanie just wants her dad to know she loves him very very much and is thankful for all the sacrifices he's made. And our 10 News editor Maria Camila wants to thank her dad too. She tells us her dad loves to dance to salsa music and loves soccer. And we also got a hold of another picture of our very own anchor Nia Watson and her dad Oliver. Look how cute you are. I know we are cute, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Sierra, we also have a picture of your dad and you. And this is a picture of Sierra and her grandpa who she calls Tots. I love that nickname. <laughs> we also have several photos of our ABC 10 News reporter Natalie Chuck with her dad. His Aww. name is Fred Chuck. And he grew up in Honolulu. Natalie tells us he she would always turn to her dad for help when it came to math homework. I, I understand that very clearly with oh, math. Too. And this is a photo of 10 News producer Alexi and his one year old daughter. Happy Father's Day to him and a special photo of our TLC's Jose's dad. May he rest in peace again. Happy Father's Day from us to you at home. I love seeing everybody's dads or their father figures. Right. It's just so special. So cute. All right.